The Election Commission of India has in fact uh, gone on to talk about uh, the kind of money that has been seized. We're talking about money, uh, more than 4,000 crores, uh, which amounts to more than 100 crores that has uh, been seized on a daily basis from the 1st of March. This uh, also includes uh, not just cash, but it also includes uh, liquor, drugs, precious metals and other freebies as well. Well, uh, to get more on this, we have my colleagues uh, joining us. Uh, in fact, uh, when we talk about the Election Commission that has uh, seized uh, uh, you know, a lot uh, in the run-up to the elections and the elections haven't even begun and this is way higher, the highest that they've ever seen, a lot more than that what was uh, seized during the 2019 elections. So we are talking about uh, 100, uh, we are talking about uh, uh, the kind of money that has been seized as far as uh, the general elections was concerned was 395 crores of cash was seized by the ECI during 2019 elections, a significant drop from 844 crores that was seized in 2019 general elections the liquor seized amount has been 489 crore up from 304 in the last elections while pressure metals has also seen a drop to 562 in comparison to the last election so we have my colleagues uh, sam and uh, nazir uh, joining us uh, over to sam first uh, sam the eci stated that in january and february 2024 the month's proceedings as far as the official announcement is concerned it totals to 7502 crores were recorded in the form of cash liquor drugs precious metals and other freebies this brings a total seizure if we talk about this particular year it's over 12000 crore rupees that have been seized uh, you know and we still have time left as far as that election phase is concerned That's right, uh, Divya. In fact, uh, this includes 45 percent, uh, accounts for 45 percent of this accounts for drugs and narcotics. That's the worrying thing. And uh, a bulk of this, one would uh, imagine and believe, could be for cash for votes, as across the country we have elections uh, uh, coming up very soon. And uh, in Tamil Nadu, for instance, totally they have secured cash and uh, gold drugs and liquor worth 314 crore rupees cash alone 151 crore rupees and uh, two ways of looking at this one is that this indicates how much on record have been seized and if this is the seizure on record how much illegally how much undetected the real figure the quantum of real cash rewards could be actually pumped into the system that's the big worry Secondly, in terms of uh, the overall figures, the Election Commission has not given how much of this total seizure in terms of cash was returned back to people who were able to provide sources or evidence for the money that was seized. That could again give a clear indication of because many business people, gold merchants also complain that they are goods or their cash they carry in terms of their daily sales are being termed as illegal or unaccounted cash and being seized but if the election commission had given that figure that will give a larger clear perspective on this and uh, in terms of uh, the seizures uh, in terms of seizures in Tamil Nadu for instance there is widespread crackdown in terms of the vehicles of candidates and key politicians being stopped and checked this morning the election commission the flying squad had in fact uh, checked the helicopter on which Rahul Gandhi had flown to Wayanad he had stopped at a place called Thalur and uh, they had a check at his in his way in his chopper and authorities say no such cash was recovered so the big worry is how much undetected could go into the system and the positive thing is how a crackdown by the election commission by authorities across the country has resulted in this kind of a seizure giving a sense of how alert officials are right uh, we also have nazir with us uh, nazir 4650 crore rupees has been seized even before polling and we're talking about only from the first of march up until now that's a month and a half this represents a 34 percent increase from 3475 crore rupees that was seized last time around in 2019 and when we talk about uh, jnk in particular those total seizures have been uh, you know including 4.2 crore rupees of uh, cash uh, we're talking uh, 4.2 has been uh, recovered out of which 1.2 crore rupees has been in cash yeah, exactly. And uh, importantly in Jammu and Kashmir, money power has not been the tradition in elections in Jammu and Kashmir. It's actually a new thing here. The least money power being used in elections has been in Jammu and Kashmir. But having said that, we see now election commission saying they have recovered these four crores, which includes cash, which includes liquor, and ironically drugs and other freebies. 
for election inducement. So it also shows election officials are clearly alert. Uh, they are alert to the situation because this is a long, long election. If this much of money has been seized, even before the first round of, you know, polling, first phase of polling is ended, you can imagine what way they are going to, you know, you know, recover or the seize for the next seven phases of these elections that you one can only imagine. And this is already the highest seizure of money, liquor, and um, uh, tragically drugs also. And Jammu and Kashmir has become the, you know, biggest challenge has been the drugs. And if drugs are also used for the election inducement, that is a really, really terrible and a shocking news from Jammu and Kashmir. Right, uh, drugs are worth uh, over 2,000 crore rupees have been seized and that's up uh, from uh, 1,279 crores that was seized last time around. And when we talk about the state uh, which has, uh, re you know, recovered the maximum and that's Rajasthan followed by Gujarat and then it's Tamil Nadu uh, followed by Maharashtra and then Punjab. Thank you so much Nazir and Sam for joining us with all the details.